And we start with a basketball legend leaving a legacy in his home state of Pennsylvania. 1996 Lower Marion star Kobe Bryant leads his team past Cathedral Prep to win the 4A state championship 48-43. There is no college video of Kobe. His next step was the NBA. Welcome into the Sunday Sports Frenzy. Thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Todd Sadowski alongside Andrew Callista, Lindsey Barna, and Alex Cauley. Join us in just a couple of minutes. Definitely one of those surreal days in the sports world as we lose basketball legend and Pennsylvania native Kobe Bryant in that tragic helicopter accident. Now, his death has a global impact, of course. It hits with a little more punch here in the Keystone State with Bryant's championship history in our backyard in Hershey. Now, one of the announcers on the call that night was Gary Sutton, and I had a chance to catch up with Gary this evening to talk about that special game in the old barn. The buzz before the game is what I remember in the old Hershey Park Arena and people talking about what he could do. He was averaging 31 points a game at that point in time. Uh, they had played everybody. Uh, there was talk about him going to the NBA. No one was quite sure yet. His dad was Joe Jelly Bean Bryant, who was a Sixers guy, and I was a Sixers fan. So, you know, we got to see all those guys down there on the floor as we were getting ready for the game. So I remember the anticipation of what Kobe Bryant might do right there, and he had played very well during the playoffs to that point. Did it surprise you at all to see the, the levels that he took his game to considering what you saw when he was in high school? Yeah, it really was because I, I was always a Michael Jordan guy, and, you know, Michael Jordan to me is still the best player that ever played the game. But I, I, when I watch Kobe later on, you know, thinking we saw him just when he was kind of getting started. You know, in those days, he was a high school player who was practicing with the Sixers, Sixers because of his dad's uh, uh, influence there. But, you know, you could see the early moves that night. And to be able to say you called Kobe Bryant's last game before he went to the Lakers was kind of a special evening. Can you put in the words losing somebody that is just this popular and this accomplished? I think when you think about Kobe Bryant, you know, he came out of high school with great acclaim. And he turned into one of the great players of all time in the NBA, 33,000 points plus. Um, you think about the tough times he had with the accusations and then the trial. A lot of people forget that. And then coming back from that, and standing up and, and atoning really for his sins and, and going forward as, as a man who I think was to be admired and uh, grew into an adult, became more mature as we all do and as we grow older, and then now being in the role of being a dad and helping his kids and, and getting his daughter involved in basketball, uh, I think it's a big loss, a huge loss. And, and you know, you feel any time a human being dies or human beings die. Uh, but I tell you what, uh, his memories will not long be forgotten because he gave us a lot of things to remember, especially in the basketball court. And uh, none of us ever as fans know them truly behind the scenes well. But our perception will always be that here was a guy that did it right. And as he went on in his NBA career, I mean, you just saw class flowing from him. And uh, I just think it's, uh, it's a terrible loss for the sports world right now and a terrible loss, obviously, for his family. And uh, we think and pray about them tonight. Yeah, and this is the touching footage of Kobe and his dad Joe embracing after they won the state title game. Now, we reached out to former Bishop McDevitt and Lebanon Valley College player Andy Panko, who actually had the pleasure of being a teammate of Kobe's from August until October of 2002. He's traveling, but took time to send us a statement which reads in part, My first reaction was utter shock and disbelief when my son told me that Kobe had died. Not just because he was such an icon in the global game of basketball that I love and made my living in, but more importantly, as a father and husband, I cannot imagine the pain his family is going through. He continues, even though my time with the Lakers was limited, to have the opportunity to play alongside some of the greats, Kobe, Shaquille, Robert Ory, A.C. Green, Derek Fisher, and many more, being coached by Phil Jackson was a dream come true. I was intent on absorbing and relishing every minute of the time I was there.